Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's topic is daffodils and the subtopics are stanza based questions of the poem and the exercise of daffodils. Learning objectives for today's lesson are by the end of the lesson the students will be able to answer the stanza based questions, identify the figure of speech, solve the exercise of the lesson. Elicitation What is stanza? Can you define the figure of speech? Who is the poet of the poem Daffodils? And which parts of speech are used in the poem Daffodils and the exercise? Before proceeding further, let's have a look at the revision of the poem that we have read earlier so that it would make easy for us to solve the exercise. After reading the poem, we will be able to do the stanza based questions of the stanza number 1. After that, we will do some of the figure of speech. That would be simile. Simile is a figure of speech that gives us a comparison between things with the help of as and like. Metaphor. It is a direct implementation of some of the quality. Personification. When we want to highlight some non-living things activity, we implement the qualities of livings on that. And imagery, that's a mental image. Poets usually use the figure of speech to enhance the beauty of their image and their thoughts. Secondly, we'll do collective nouns and the exercise of collective nouns. Thirdly, we'll do the conjunctions and the exercise of the conjunctions at the end of the lesson. Stands up is question number one from the poem Daffodils. Here is an example. Stands up is question number one. Where was the poet wandering and how? The poet was wandering like a cloud over valleys and hills. What did the poet see? The poet saw a host of golden daffodils. Where were the daffodils when the poet saw them? The daffodils were under the trees close to the lake. How were the flowers in appearance? The flowers were beautiful and of golden color. After reading the poem, it's really clear that stanza based questions are a check of our memory about the poem. Next, we have a video that would illustrate before us and highlight what are similes with examples, metaphors with example, personifications with examples. Collective nouns are the parts of nouns in which a singular name is given to so many nouns. The explanation of the collective noun in a worksheet. For example, a choir of singers, choir is a collective noun, a flock of tourists, flock is a collective noun, a troop of dancers, troop is a collective noun, a class of students, class is a collective noun, an army of soldiers, army is a collective noun. Conjunctions, conjunctions are of two kinds. Conjunctions with examples. Conjunctions are the words which used to join the phrases or clauses to make them a longer sentence. There are two types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunction and subordinating conjunction. The coordinating conjunctions are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. It makes fanboys. Subordinating conjunctions are so many in number. Here is the list of subordinating conjunctions that are used to make smaller phrases join together to make to make them a big sentence. In today's lesson, we have read about the daffodils, the stanza based questions, figure of speech including simile, metaphor, 
personification and imagery after that we have done the collective nouns and the conjunctions there is a quick recap and we'll be able to solve the exercise given at the end of the chapter daffodils at the page number 55 of your textbook there is an activity d and activity e relates to the figure of speech on the page number 56 of your textbook there is an activity related to the collective nouns that we have read earlier and at the page number 57 of your textbook there is an activity d and activity e related to the conjunctions so you can have a recap of all the lesson that we have done and you will be able to solve the exercise dear students it's time for the follow up you have to answer all the possible asked stanza based questions of stanza number 2 3 and 4 of the poem daffodils on your notebooks and secondly you have to list up all of the similes metaphors personifications and imagery used in the poem daffodils thank you so much students stay blessed this was all about today's lesson allah hafiz